All right, guys, nothing new about Bitcoin today. Basically, two days ago, yesterday, I made a video, and my view on that it remains the same. Market is stagnant, so you can refer to my previous videos if you didn't see those. And today, as I promised, I will make a video about the altcoins with super low capitalization and high potential for the future growth. Of course, those are really risky. It's not financial advice. Don't invest much. 10 bucks, this is enough. You all probably understand that, but just in case, I shall tell you. All right, so what are those coins? First, Celsius. Why I think Celsius is great? You see the price here. Well, it is actually was listed on IDEX and apparently Switch.io by someone which is not affiliated with the developing team and the price doesn't really reflect the truth of the price action for the coin. In fact, the ICO was ended March 22nd 2018 so more than one year ago and they still didn't list their coins it may make some investors upset because they can't sell their coins however from the marketing standpoint it is a right decision because listing on a bear market uh, it's not a great idea and on ICO they actually rose 50 million dollars so from the price of ICO based on the coin market cap value is like one fourth of the price by dollar and by BTC as well. But again, I wouldn't really trust these values. And the point is the product itself is absolutely amazing. Basically, this is a lending platform using crypto. You can earn, borrow, pay on the blockchain using their tokens and they offer different coins for paying your interest for bitcoin it's four percent litecoin you see three etc etc so actually a lot of the coins out there including stable coins and they compare themselves with the other platforms at some point they are better especially that the fact that they don't have any fees but important point now guys that Despite they didn't list their token until now, this is the pivotal point because they are listing it on Liquid Exchange on June 12th. So maybe you can still buy something on IDEX if you want. Of course, it's not the greatest exchange which you can think of, but they promise to do it on other exchanges as well. And this is not the main point. The point is, those are the numbers which they made during their work. So the whole year and a half which were doing their development, they didn't waste their money, they really developed. So they have, for example, 2 billion worth of coin loan originations. They have more than $200 million in coin deposits, almost $2 million in distributed interest and community over 100,000 people. And they are projecting over half billion dollars under management by the end of this year year some of you may not like the idea of the lending platform like this is the derivative this is not my key not my crypto but you know this is how the crypto at least part of it is going to evolve it is integrated in the existing financial system and there's a huge demand there's a huge market for it and money is just laying on the ground some people will pick it up and Celsius is one of the projects which is about to do it in my opinion. And another point which I think it's absolutely underestimated project is because of this guy, Alex Mashinsky. It is a CEO of Celsius. So if you don't know him, then I can tell you that he was the one among the very few people who was developing voice over internet protocol and he actually made many other technological advances in different fields so he is absolute genius in my opinion from business perspective and from technological perspective together you can for example also remember brendan ike who is the ceo of the brave browser and basic attention token so he is a creator of the javascript programming language for example and co-founder of mozilla now he is ceo of brave apparently brave is one of the best projects like with the biggest adoption i mean the project which is based on crypto on blockchain and now we have another person who is leading another high potential project but this project is just completely under the water of course i don't know how it will be listed which what will be the price you remember cosmos token or atom which had like enormous number of gains because they were listed very long time after the ico so maybe celsius has a similar potential to Atom. In fact, if you remember, the ICO was $50 million, but actually the real interest of their platform is over $200 million. So it means that they had 
additional 4x of their ICO over the initial token sale. So those are the real values. So you may expect that based on this, the price will be like 4x. And considering the fact that current price on IDEX is like one fourth of the ICO price, then you will get like 16x on the current price of Celsius. Of course, it's a rough estimation to put it mildly. It's basically crystal ball prediction, but even if it would not rise, if some people will dump their tokens on the exchange, considering the fundamental strength of the project, I think it's absolutely worth looking at this in terms of the investment perspective. Okay, second project, Hacken. This is listed and it is below one million dollars and by the way celsius doesn't have a market cap because we don't have a circulating supply apparently because all the listings were made not by the team and team doesn't provide the numbers to those exchanges but okay hacking below one million dollars very very low volume basically you can buy it on kucoin mostly the price was going lower 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 but the idea of the project is very interesting and they still continue to develop continue to work on their ideas so basically it's a cyber security ecosystem and they provide the solutions for different aspects of the high cyber cyber security like they have security assessment they have the blotch blockchain security including the smart contract audit blockchain protocol security and so on and so forth and actually they have like a few projects within their ecosystem system hack and proof is the bounty platform for the people who are willing to find bugs in the space like in exchanges in wallets and everything so those people will be rewarded by the hacking tokens so they call themselves like white hat hackers and hacking team refer to themselves as well in the same way another part is cer crypto exchange ranks so they did this multi-factor scoring platform which ranking exchanges so also adding value to the security aspect they have the international cyber security conference so they actually try to grow their community and share the experience so and finally they have those tokens an idea behind the ecosystem and the tokens is that they are providing the services for those businesses exchanges etc and if they want to purchase those services they need to do it via hacking token so they will buy it somewhere in exchange and the price will grow at the same time hacking will reward those people who want to participate in this process like from the outside with those tokens so this is a nice idea for the ecosystem moreover one has to give credits for their professionalism like for example their technology advisor Alexei Matisaevich, a Ukrainian cybersecurity professional what he did is for example he discovered a critical vulnerability in the code of the parity ethereum wallet and also he helped to prevent a massive crisis in a large crypto marketplace by identifying the vulnerability to the top eight cryptocurrency exchanges in May 2018. So you can see that people who work with hacking are professionals. And to be honest with you, I still think that the potential of, for the growth of this project is high. So maybe they just had poor marketing or they concentrated too much on the development and didn't make certain part of the job required so it's not clear but anyway despite of course it could go lower and it may appear that they will not succeed but still in terms of the risk to reward ratio i think it's really interesting to look at the third coin ad bank and ad bank is also very low market cap six hundred seventy thousand dollars you also can buy it on kucoin pretty much the volume is also low the price was going lower and lower and lower during this bear market and why in my opinion ad bank is interesting is that it is trying to steal a share from the market which is taken by brave browser by basic attention tokens so they try to disturb advertising space by rewarding people for watching some ads and make an ecosystem in which the advertisers will pay the publishers to show the content their ads to the audience and audience also will be rewarded so everybody will be happy what i like about this project is that they had the partnership and now they are powered with blade providing an ad blocker which you can use to your browser and basically earn adb tokens while you're browsing the web it works on chrome but it's actually available for the other platforms as they declare so it's browser agnostic they compare it with bat as well saying that they are maybe better in some aspects which could be arguable but in any case the most important point is that they are 
trying to do very similar thing and with a great success of Brave Browser and Basic Attention Token, you may expect that AdBank will also get something and since they are still continue to work, they are not disappearing or something, they still have a chance to return to the market and their token may also grow in price. There are some things which make me a bit concerned, for example, the partnership with the Denta coin, you know, the reputation of this coin. So. Uh, maybe they just try to push their exposure to the maximum extent, so it's not really clear. In any case, that is how uh, AdBank is just in the end of our list of this microcap tokens. So again, guys, all three have some interesting features, and I think that considering the current state of those tokens in terms of the market capitalization, I think it's very interesting to look at it and maybe worth even buy a couple of bucks of their tokens. Now, here is the thing which I would like to apologize about and add to the end of my video. Actually, as you may know, in my videos there is no ads. I didn't even turn on YouTube monetization because I thought that it's worthless and people will be just bothered by those ads. But recently one of my subscribers pointed out a very important thing that YouTube is actually prefer the videos with monetization turned on in terms of the search algorithms, in terms of suggesting you those videos in your YouTube feed and so on. The idea behind it is that YouTube of course would prefer to promote videos which allow YouTube to make money. It makes sense. So I would have to make a decision to turn on monetization and I did it from yesterday. So although it may be a little bit disturbing for you to have it, I hope for your understanding. And I want just to stress that I don't have any interest in uh, getting those 5-10 bucks in a year for those ads. The idea is that in order to make the channel grow, I would have to do it and use this feature. Otherwise, what's the point actually to make the channel then try to make more people see it. So, if you are really bothered with the ads, I would suggest you to download the Brave Browser, which we mentioned several times so far. I have a referral link in the description to this video. So, Brave Browser is really fast, it blocks all the ads, including those which you can find on YouTube, and without it you will not have any problems and everybody will be happy. By the way, recently I found an interesting point about Brave. For example, if some block on the website which you look at is not an ad, but some picture or some window which is not categorized like an ad but still disturbing, what you can do is you can make a right click on this window and find Brave Block Element via Selector. So when you do that, click OK and then on this website this window will never appear. So if you, even if you will refresh the page, you see there is no window of that anymore. You can return it just to use Brave Clear CSS rules for this site and then as soon as you will refresh the website you will see this window again. I think it's pretty cool because sometimes websites do the smart job and add those ads without being categorized by the ad blocker as ads. So once again I apologize for turning on monetization, but it's not for monetization itself, but just to promote the channel. And if you like, please use Brave Browser, so you will not be disturbed by that. And that is it for today, guys. I hope it was useful. Thank you for watching.